Breaking news, Nigerians. Everywhere is currently tensed. President Bola Maitino in shock. He never expected what he's seeing or what he's hearing right now. Organizing the book called for Biafra Freedom. <laughs> right now, Aranese wants to join the struggle of Biafra Nation. They have given President Bola Maitinubu, you know, conditions. And if all these conditions they have given to the federal government of Nigeria failed, according to them, they are joining the Biafra agitators in this very course. You know, say this thing when they talk, say no matter how you pretend, where you belong, now where you belong. You cannot change it. You understand? Igbo, Ndigbo, they have called for Mazinam the Kano's release. They don't shout, they don't cry, they don't threaten. Him. Okay? But the Nigerian government have refused to do the needful. Now, this is like uh, they want to take action. And they are ready to take action against the government of Nigeria. That means that thing when they run for work career committee. Nigerians, this will shock you to know that Oranese Youth uh, Council, Igbo, Igbo Yaka, oh, Igbo Yaka, have written President Bola Maitinubu, led by the Nigerian government. He said, if the Tunubu government refuse, or if the Tunubu government continue to follow the footsteps of his predecessor, Muhammad Buhari, by still keeping our brother Namde Kano in the DSS custody, even after a, a court judgment by the Federal High Court that discharged and acquitted him, and the continued using of military. Nigerian soldiers to harass, intimidate, dehumanize Indigo in their states. If all this continues, we will tell Nigeria that we will join the struggle for Biafra. Nigerians, Otulu Bekel, story don't open mouth. Organize is now threatening to join Biafra's struggle. If the federal government of Nigeria refused to release the IPOP leader, Mazin Namdekano, record that Mazin Namdekano is facing trial in Nigerian DSS custody, treasonable felony, which was you know, levied against him by the Nigerian government. Namdekano was adopted in Kenya in 2021 to Nigeria. Yes, in 2022, a, a, a competent court of jurisdiction discharged and acquitted him, but the, the then president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, and the then AGF, the Attorney General of the Nation, Abubakar Malami, they refused. They refused to let him go. So since then, Mr. Kano is facing terrorism charges. And he has been in detention since he was, you know, brought back to Nigeria from Kenya in June 2021 under controversial circumstances. You understand? Because court condemned the way Mazin Namdekano was brought back to Nigeria, even to the extent that they asked Nigerian government to, to pay damages to Mazin Namdekano. But you see, we don't have rules and regulations in Nigeria. They know they will obey court orders. DSS know they will obey court order. That one is just there. And uh, Nigerian government know they will obey court orders. So that is just that. Now, in the world, they are tired. They are, in fact, they, this thing says they don't, they fed up. This is a situation whereby they no longer have their peace. Soldiers are going to houses looking for agitators. People, they disappear every now and then. They go take you, you not see them again. You understand? That is what is happening right now. They are going to the churches. They go to people, the uh, uh, churches in the southeast, 
harassing people, asking them to go to their houses. They are not needed in the church. This is a kind of de declaring war in the southeast. Waiting be that, waiting happen. Now, the federal government of Nigeria have seen all this, that this is what is causing problem. Mazin Namdekano's detention. So why can't he release him? The lives when they don't buy for this matter, you know, if you can't. You get for inside this matter. So that should be last month. It was everywhere that uh, Southeast leaders, they have decided, they have woken up from their slumber. You know, they have decided to approach Nigerian government concerning this Mazen Namdekanu's release. Since that time, I don't hear anything. Have you heard anything from the federal government of Nigeria? Whether they were here with it and talk or whether they're not here. Even the Southeast leaders, what have you heard about them? So you see, there is much, there is much to what is going on. Now, organize a youth council. They don't threaten the government. They said, if this persists, if all these troubles persist, we will assure you, we all will leave Nigeria. So that means they will persecute everybody with that. I better make a drop up for you. This is getting more interesting. If you are joining us, I beg share, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. I beg like us. I beg like us. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you. Bye for now.